Hey guys, welcome in with College Sportscast and our summer series, SEC Media Days, started today and we're doing a night and we are brought to you by the fanboys with Let's Talk Sports, Sideline Sports, and WSBN TV Channel 30. Check out brand new intro for season two. When it comes back, I'll speak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'm finally back. I got new equipment and go. everything, so I, I was trying trying this out. But uh, so did the, did, did the intro play? Did you see it, John? Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. All right. So – we are College Sportscast, and I have old but new guy with, with me tonight. So, John Hammonds is back on the show. Uh, welcome, John. What's up? Appreciate it. Glad to be back. How you, how you been, man? <clears throat> Doing good. Just getting ready for football season. Yeah. <clears throat> it's exciting. You know, to have football season this close again. Yeah, and, we uh, we got baseball going. Glad that you're back with me. Yeah, mm-hmm. hey, you all into this major league baseball stuff. We don't. Yeah, well, uh, we we ain't gonna get I, started I really on my Reds it for a while. So. We're not gonna get started on my Reds right now. No. <laughs> things are not good no, right now. I no. just put on. Let's be, let's be honest with you. What is um, it looks like um, one of our others is saying that he could be on with us, but I've done started this and I can't send an invite right now. So all right. Anyways, uh, we are college sports cast. Welcome in, and we're going to coverage of our SEC media days tonight. Today started SEC Media Days in Nashville, Tennessee. First time it's ever been in Nashville. And uh, mm-hmm. everybody in media, it seems like, is in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, this, yeah. the, next, the next three or four days, you know, and, and covering SEC Media Days. Mm-hmm. It started today, John, with LSU, um, mm-hmm. Texas A&M, and Missouri. That's who we are going to talk about. That's who we're going to cover mm-hmm. tonight. Uh, so that's 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 where we're going to start. Mm-hmm. And we'll start start with if it opened up with Greg 
Sankey opened up the SEC media. Yeah, he, he opened up with a to Mike Leach. Uh, Mike Leach know. tribute. That was pretty. That was pretty neat. Yeah. He was a man. You, you know, know Mike Leach up, was a man. Was a man of yeah. Do what now? Yeah, he come out with no tie. He had a tie off mm-hmm. and everything, and he he told the story uh, about he told the story about how last year before the SEC media day started, when Mike was there, that uh, Mike was telling him that um, story about how ties, you know, shouldn't have shouldn't be a thing and blah 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 and all this stuff. So he with no time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he was a man of few words, but when he but when he did have something to say, he was pretty much locked into it. You know what I mean? Did you so catch any was, of that today? Yeah, I caught it. He was just kind of going in and out there a little bit. So, but I got it. Is it skipping? No, it's better now. So, okay. It, that's what it did last night, too. I may have to go back to using other stuff. I don't know. I bought new stuff thinking it would work better. And so far, I but, haven't uh, seen that. <laughs> but you was talking about Leach. Um, he was a man of very few words, but when he did speak, you, uh, you, you, you had to pay attention to listen to what he had to say. And, you know, the interviews, the, the halftime stuff, he was – He's pretty on target with things that he said, and I'm gonna miss Michael Leach. He was a uh, he was a really good gold standard for the SEC. So, yeah, absolutely. And uh, mm-hmm. you know, Mike, the SEC a few years um, mm-hmm. as far as being a head coach. Most of his time was in the Big yeah, he, 12, Pac-12, um, as far as being a head coach. He was only in there for uh, three years. Uh, but he did have the best season he had so far in the SEC last year, taking Mississippi mm-hmm. State to an 8-4 and four record in the regular season. Had, unfortunately, had a heart attack and passed away. I will say yeah. this, while we're doing the Mike Leach tribute, he is the only coach that's different in the SEC. SEC this year, which is odd. Yeah. odd. Like yeah, in college get... football, there's a lot of coaches, and the SEC well, and there's is a lot of turnover. Coach wise, except except the loss of Mike Leach, Mississippi State. Well, there's which there's a new coordinator, which we're getting ready to go speak on that here in a minute um, for Texas A and M. That's a different Bobby P. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only difference. Well, and it's just not Bobby P. There's a there's there's a lot of turnover, so especially within the coordinators. I can't hear you now. <laughs> yeah, it's we're having one of them technical difficulty nights. Let's just put it that way.
I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you any. You went dead. You went dead there for a minute. No. I can just see your lips moving. That's it. Uh-uh. I don't know what's I don't know what's the I can't hear anything. I can't hear you. Hold on a minute. I can't hear you. I hear you, John. Yep. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, Brad's just mute. There's a there's probably a button on his little switchboard that says like either to main mix or to to phones or something like that. There's probably something that he can knock out. 
Yeah. Mm. I don't know what's going on. That's, I don't either. That's I don't know. It's weird. I, I don't know. Oh. I don't know if y'all can oh, hear me. There, there he is. There, there he is. He's there, but it. And your your face is frozen, yep. but you you started talking. We could hear you. <laughs> you can hear me. Finally. Yeah, I hear yeah. you now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, somehow. I, Uh oh! There it went again. Oh, we lost it. We lost him. He's, he, he, you, you lost you again. Yep. Oh, How you been, buddy? I ain't talked to you forever. I know it's been a while. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a nice start here. <laughs> yeah, what I said. Yep. Yeah, man, I don't understand what's going on. How about? Yep. Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, so it keeps changing my setting on its own. Something with the new stuff is probably. I don't know. Like it's changing it. I'm having to go back in there and put the mic back in there. Mm -mm. I've had to do it well, twice you're good now. now. This is college sports cast. I don't, I don't know what's going on. With technical with difficulties it. is a regularity. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I bought brand new equipment, and for some reason, this is changing my my video setting on. On its own. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I was just talking about how Granky um, opened up today, done the Mike Leach tribute, talking about NIL legislation help, um, and was saying that he thought <sighs> Congress was going to have to get involved. Um, he also brought up expansions, expansion talk. And he was talking about how the SEC is good with sixteen. That everybody can do whatever they want, but it's good with sixteen. Did you guys? Yeah, get I, yeah, yeah, I caught that. Um, I uh, I saw that he what he was talking about when he was talking about um, the conference expansion, and really mainly also that the NIL stuff with you know, con uh, with, with Congress and trying to do something that's being legislated just because you have uh, uh, you have all these different state laws that are out there, but none of them are actually being different truly states, enforced. Also, different government, right? State, and then, yeah. right, and then you have right. all these different rules with the the NIL that also aren't necessarily being, you know, governed or or are, are actually being you know overseen so it's it's really convoluted with the way that that everything works right now and then it's kind of a free-for-all and the only way that it can be truly i guess you know overseen is if you have some governing body but you've got to have you've got to be be equal across the board um state to state to state to state and that's what yeah. what he was really yeah, and that's pushing. what they're trying to do with having so, Congress get involved. Right, yeah, and so that's what I mean. He's just checking. Yeah. You know, hey, look, we don't have anybody to really check anything, and different states can do different things. So some schools are at a disadvantage because the states are doing different things. Right. So that's that's oh, the yeah, way that, that they were. Mm -hmm. So. That's that's really what his focus was in there. And then there was, you know, when he was talking about expansion, yeah, he was he really just kind of sat there and said, Look, you know, we're we're good with the sixteen right now. And that's really what he's gonna say. Um, there's not 
he's not going to say anything that that leads to pushing for more uh, unless there is a legitimate something there. And at this moment, probably not anything. There's there. a lot of so, other conferences that are. Right. There are a lot of other conferences that are. Yeah. And but but to keep the product what it is, he has to find he's got to find um, like legitimate schools. If there are going to be schools out there, he's got to find ones that will make the conference money. And that you have to have it where when you're adding teams in that the pool for each team grows instead of, you know, gets divided out even more and it's and it goes less. So you've got to find the ones that will that will bring in enough money that when you add them, each team gets more money per, you know, your your your. You're elevating the amount of money each team gets. Yeah, no, absolutely. And not every, not every, thought, not every you know, school is going to do that. To hear him step in, right? Yeah. So I thought it's good to hear him I step in and say, you know, at SEC, we're good with six. Right. I ain't got, I ain't got nothing to say for that because John. And then the last thing <laughs> nailed it on the head there. So. Yeah. I mean, the last thing I was going to bring up is he, he pretty much was kind of proud on his scheduling talking about how 1 through 16, the 2024 schedule is uh, kind of balanced through the whole thing, and there's nothing that has, you know, uh, a major advantage. Uh, and, and I think that's a big point because if you look around at the Pac-12 schedule and the ACC schedule and you look at the Big Ten schedule, there is huge differences in some of those schedules. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you too, Brad. They they we'll get to it in a minute, but there, <laughs> the LSU um the LSU guy I mentioned today, he said coming to the SEC, he didn't really say it like this, but he said it's a different animal. And this it's gonna be a lot tougher than what what they expect. And you know. Uh oh, we lost yeah. him again. Why? Oh, I can't hear you again. He's moving his lips, and we know he's talking. We just can't hear him. I'm serious. Oh, yes. So we could. I don't know. You got to reset that mic. <laughs> yeah. So. LSU definitely. I actually heard a, a a beat writer for LSU that was on uh that was on TV, or yeah, his beat right. Well, not really a beat writer. He was uh he's a guy that's in the LSU media. Um, Matt Moscona. He was on. Yeah, I know Matt. He was on local radio here, and he was talking about the LSU. Like you know, he's what his picks would be as well for uh, for this year, and you know, talking about that he would pick. You know, he's more than likely going to pick LSU uh, to be number one. It's like that's not a homer pick. He just doesn't think that there's, you know, that it, this is the first time since the Nick Saban era began that he did not give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, and that was what he was, what he was kind of pushing. And so um, the other thing about what he was doing was. That he uh, he was pushing for. Um, I'm trying to think of what all he was saying because I, I I tweeted this one out. So I was like, he says LSU's going to win the West, Bama sucks, and Auburn's going to Auburn. That's right, because Auburn's going to beat a team they're not supposed to beat. And, and <laughs> I disagree. I disagree with that because <laughs> Auburn is going to be better than people think. Well, that well. Yeah, it's so hard to read them right now. The biggest um, thing with Auburn, though, I told somebody yesterday, is their quarterback position is the biggest question mark. Yes, is if they get if they get productive play out of the quarterback position, um, right? There's and a good they, opportunity that Auburn could win seven or eight games. And uh, you just don't, but you don't know what's going to happen. Right, and that's There's Brad. He's trying to say something. Uh oh. Maybe if he takes his headphones out, 
You think that would work? I have no idea. I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to trying to figure a way out of here. This has been one <laughs> great um, SEC media days. Well, it's been great to be introduced to come back like this. It's it's been a, about a now. Great, Can you hear me? A grand entrance. This has been some grand entrance to my return. I'm going to just tell you. Okay, I've taken my mic and thing out. I've taken my mic and everything out it. because it's this thing is acting crazy. It's like it's ridiculous. Would they be would they be a college sports cast without Brad Harvey? Something falling apart during the, <laughs> the show. Frozen bread, I mean, silent ridiculous. bread, no bread. Who knows? No bread, silent Good bread, grief. frozen bread. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go, Brad. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay, so what I was saying to you, we're not talking about Auburn tonight, but we are talking no. about LSU. I was just Brian giving, Kelly I was just giving my today. thoughts. Yeah, but we're not Auburn tomorrow. I, not until tomorrow. Tomorrow. Listen, I was just giving my two cents. <laughs> hey, you guys were talking about things that – that, yeah. that changed or didn't change, you know, since last year when you were talking about Mike Leach not being around? Like, did you forget that Hugh Freeze yeah. came to Auburn? Yeah. Just yeah. throwing that out there. Just coaching change. Oh, yeah. There's another coaching change. There's another, there's a, there's about another, coaching, Freeze, there's right? another yeah. coaching change. Yeah. I did <laughs> forget about Hugh you forget? Did you forget Auburn so changed? There is that, another that change. Changed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on now, Brad. You're right. My bad. And then, yeah. but no, what are Georgia? talking about? Um, well, we were just talking about LSU. That, but you can't hear nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was interesting. You could hear nothing the, else uh, I said. Didn't have to. <laughs> it might have been. It might have been the Williams kid. <laughs> Was it the Williams kid that said that it's going to be tough for Oklahoma and Ellis and Texas to come into the? It might have been the. It might have been him or Wingo. They said something today. Said that it would be tough for Oklahoma and yeah. Texas coming into the league next year, and, and it will be, you know, because the SEC is not a patty cake league compared. I wouldn't say that the Big Twelve is a patty cake league. There's about two or three teams in that league that can that could do possibly good in the SEC, but that's as far as you would go. SEC is good from top to bottom. You know, Kentucky's getting better. Um, South Carolina's getting better. Um, Tennessee's on the rise. All right. What did you think of Brian Kelly's – what did you think about Brian Kelly and what he was talking about on the mic today and what he brings? He I know – one thing for sure, he was he was talking about how they need to upgrade their talent, their you know, um, to I think they Georgia have, and Alabama's level. Do y'all think? Um, do y'all think they're there? Do you think they need to go a little further? To I think they need another year, uh, but I will say this: Jaden Daniels is probably one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the league. Um, you know, he mentioned the Tennessee game today. He said after the Tennessee game, he said we kind of turned it on, and he, they kind of figured it out. Which like, even last year, there was a lot of teams that got weather whooped by Tennessee. Um, well, not named South Carolina, you know, right. but at the end of the day, until they closed the season. But, out. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't really do well going out the door. But um, they, but like they said, stumbled yeah, quite a quite. Hard closing the season out. They they did going out the door to end the year. Look, their their season their season was beating Bama, and then at the end they were like, you know, you know what? what, we're done. We did it. We did what well, we, we came to do. You can we even go. Bama and we left. You can go as even far as saying that LSU season was beating Bama last year, because you know look at look at what LSU did at Baton Rouge. They won what on a last second play, right? But then, but then, but then. 
as I predicted, that at the end of the year they would lose to that god awful Texas A and M team, and that was hilarious. That's what happened. <laughs> and then they didn't play great against Georgia either. No, they didn't play no, all that no, great against they... Georgia either in the championship game. They no. struggled against Georgia. But I think just about anybody struggled against Georgia. So. <laughs> But maybe, yeah. I mean, she just about, certainly. <laughs> I mean, look, Ohio State's the only one that really put up an absolute fight. And then I think Missouri yeah. did too. Missouri kind of right. Missouri made them look, but Missouri did that to a lot of teams where they were just like, "Oh, we could muck this game up so bad," and then, but Missouri just wasn't talented enough to to stick the landing. I mean, like. Heck, they, they even had it against Auburn. They should have won that game multiple times and couldn't stick the landing there, too. I thought it was interesting today that uh, he was bringing up his southern accent and said, thinking that he thinks he's got a little better at it and that he does My it family. when he actually recruits in, South, in, in Louisiana. He uses those accents when he recruits, but the, and he said it today. Why do you need a southern? But why do you need a southern one in Louisiana? I don't. You need it a Cajun. I, Cajun. I thought it was a little Cajun. interesting. My, like, family is my, happy. my family is happy. My family is happy to be here, <laughs> but I think I think overall the LSU is going to be really good. Um, I think Alabama's going to be better, which we'll talk about Alabama later on. But they got some quarterback issues, I think. So Wednesday, yep, Wednesday. So, um, but I think LSU's going to be good. Yeah. Um, I think Texas. I think this year, as we go in to talk about Texas and M, I think this is a big year for Jimbo Fish. Um, and I, and I'll get into details in it a minute, will, but could that be could this could we'll, this be the we'll great exodus? Is, we'll I wouldn't say it's an exit. Sure. I wouldn't say it's an exit, but he needs to win. Okay, what is, what's what's the level? What what is what's the win total that he he needs to he has to, to at least to keep his job? And, and I tell you why, because look at what he's done the last couple of years, the recruiting classes he's brought in. You can't bring those type of classes in and not do anything with it. Okay, how about this? Here, here let's go through Texas A&M. While we're on the subject, let's go through Texas A&M's schedule right now. You want to do that? Uh, yeah, if y'all want to move on, y'all want to move on, I'm going to bring up the – because I think today was the hot seat coaches. Minus we're Kelly, here. the next two coaches and the next two teams, uh, Texas A&M and Missouri, I, think, I think that's the two I don't think Kelly's on the hot seat. No, no, no. He's he's not saying Kelly. He's not saying Kelly. He's oh, saying okay. the other. He's saying the other two. I said minus. Yeah, that's Kelly. what I was going to say. This is a big year. This is a big year for Eli Drinkwitz, in yes, my opinion. It, it, it is, but he just got the extension last and year. Fisher. He did, but you. I don't care. He got an extension and has not had a winning record. I just want him to just start making fun of people. Three. This will be his fourth year, and he has not had a winning record. Yeah. You know who he kind of reminds me of in a way? Ted Lasso. No. He <sighs> reminds me of the coach that's at Cincinnati currently, Satterfield. Well, and I don't mean that looks wise. I mean that in terms of recruiting. Well, they both were at App State, were they not? Well, and they're, and they're both. Did, did both Satterfield Cincinnati. follow him at App State? Mm, I'm not sure I think on that. So. I know he went to Louisville from App State. Well, yeah, I yeah. think. I think I think Eli took the Mizzou job, and then Satterfield took the App State one. But and then I think State. in terms of coaching, they're the t they're the same kind of coach, and yeah. I feel like the recruiting's the same. Um, but let me tell you something, and, and I'm just gonna get my two cents in here while we're at it. App State recruiting is nothing compared to the SEC. Yeah, neither is it's Boise State. It's a totally State. different game. Yeah, Boise State's the same way. Talent level is the yeah. same. It's not the same. <laughs> you're, you're you're going into a bigger fish fry. No, I mean it's and, absolutely and, not. And crab bowl, you know. I just if I had to pick two coaches in the SE that I thought was on the hottest seat, it would be two 
that was it's on the podium two. today, and that would be Jimbo Fisher and Eli Drinkwitz. Well, and now you got Jimbo Fisher button heads with Bobby Petrino. And I don't know how that's going to work, but can't wait to watch this just crash be, and burn. Well, I'll, I'll get, get to that. Burn. <laughs> I'll get to that. I have I have a good question when it comes to that one, the whole Bobby Petrino, Jimbo Fisher thing. But, you know, so I thought when Jimbo Fisher took the mic today, last year he was fresh off of that number one recruiting class. He come in with all this swag and everything. And I to, thought today he when he to took fight the Saban. mic, he, he was a little Saban. bit more <laughs> – yeah, he was wanting to fight Saban last year, had that number one recruiting class, was bragging, all this stuff. This year, when he took the mic today, he didn't quite have all that bravado. Not not quite so much this time, I didn't think. Mm-mm. Had to have a little humble pie last year. He got humbled a little bit last year. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't think so. Uh, if you want to talk about a and let's talk about their quarterback situation. Is it going to be what Wigman, Wigman, whatever his name is? He was the better choice last year. I don't year. know how he pronounces it. Uh, Connor Wigman. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. You know I what I thought of last year's. I think he'll be a – I think he'll be the starter most likely. Yeah. I mean, you got Max Johnson, you know, done some stuff, and he's there too, so – Max Johnson to me is just too inconsistent. He was that way at LSU. Um, he had a couple of good games at LSU. But, but he has oh. had good games. Yeah, he yeah. has. What kind of Wigman had um, good games? Or Wigman? The so, biggest yeah. issue with Texas A&M last year was their defense, and that shouldn't have been the case. And it was their defense it, was really bad. No, last they're year. full of their four offense and five was really star bad. players. Their offense was really bad. What are you their talking offense, about? Their offense was but their horrible. Defense, horrible. Their offense but at times, was their defense kept but, them in the but game. They stuck, but, but they stuck with a quarterback that was horrible. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, just look at the Auburn game. Okay, look at the Auburn game. That game was 13 to 10. That was a god-awful game. But it was Cadillac's first home game, which – made it just such a a massive like i mean it was a sold out crowd i mean that was probably the most rowdy auburn was last year the whole season but that uh that game you watch the game that game was terrible if any one of those teams had a decent offense then it would have been a blowout the other way but it wasn't smith for texas a&m their wide receivers want to be crucial for them a nice uh it will be. He will be. I just Absolutely. think he, he's got to be. He was one of the speakers today. Yeah, he's got to be one of the big leaders because right now there's a lot of question marks at Texas A&M. Um, and, and I'll be honest, I said nine wins. They, they might have to win ten. And I'm not saying Jimbo's going to get fired. I'm not saying that. But at the end of the day, if you don't, if you don't develop these players and get them – you know, you have one of the top recruiting classes. What back should, to back years? Should we should we go through the schedule? And, and, and that's all right with you, but I mean, listen. At some if point, you, if you want to know what I think, I think a or and and he, and he keeps his job. If he goes, eight, he keeps his job. Eight, eight. What, yes. What's the what's the saying in Missouri? Top, top five recruiting class. What's the, what's the over slogan? The last in, several years. What's the slogan in Missouri? Show me state. If he goes eight or after going five, five and seven, That's after going no five way. and seven, it was eight and four. You're going to pay him. I, I think it's he'll keep his job. Oh, that is terrible. They're paying a ton of money to go eight and four, which is what they'll do with it without paying. They are. Much. They are. They went five and seven last year. I'll even tell you one better than that. If they were okay with five and seven, I think they'll be all right with eight and four. And another thing, too, his biggest issue is he does not know how to work with quarterbacks. Jameis Winston saves his tail. 
that's another thing that uh, Jimbo's got some issues with his quarterback. So but here's the not, schedule. So here's the schedule. Okay. They're going to they're going to start off week 1 New Mexico. That's a win. Yes. Yeah, that's a win. Okay. At Miami. Depends on which Miami team a shows win, up. Probably. The toss up. I think it's a win. Lama. So so you're going you're going win at Miami. Okay. La Monroe, win. Yeah, win that one. Auburn. Where's it at? It's at Texas A&M. Usually Auburn does not win good down there. It's at uh, Texas no, A&M. Uh, actually, time. Auburn actually oh, no, 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 no. in Texas A&M. They I'm win thinking there. about at Auburn is what I was thinking about. Yeah, they usually win on the road against Texas yeah. A&M. So, new coach for, for Auburn, do you think they win that one? Auburn's going to be awful young. They're going to be awful. Just, I think it's going to be unpredictable. So yeah, they're very predictable. If I it's setting very here tonight, no, the predictably. If I had to guess, I would say an M wins it. So you're saying four zero? Okay. It'll be four zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now it's the Southwest Classic, Arkansas at Arlington. This one they should have lost last year. Arkansas's due to win that one. Should have lost yeah. it last year. They're due to win that one because Arkansas should. Things went downhill when when Jefferson fumbled and and got hurt. Oh, and the field goal. Don't even get started on the field goal situation. Right. So, so I give I give Arkansas that one. Okay, that's so it. four and one. Okay, well, man, Bam. So that's Bama. four and one. Bama. Yeah. Loss. I think it's a loss. Yeah, at, you at Tennessee. Uh, ain't that their loss. first trip? Ain't that their first trip there? Possibly, yeah. I think it's their first trip to Tennessee. Could be, yeah. Sounds about right. At Tennessee, they a, they've only played Tennessee once, and I think or maybe twice, and it was in A and M. Okay, so at Tennessee, yeah, they lose that one. Okay, bye week, and then South Carolina. Depends on which pinterette where you get. Yeah. Yeah. At Ole Miss. And at Ole Miss, okay. So you're talking about you're talking about now a, 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 an offense that could absolutely blow up their defense. Also yeah, could but, be as anemic yeah. as they are. But is Ole Miss defense going to be improved though? That's the thing. Not a clue. Couldn't tell you that. All right. Mississippi State, which I don't know. It's not, it's I think not it's a win. The, I don't think yeah. Okay. Mississippi State's not going to have the year. I think. I, I think. To... Okay. So, so we're we're looking at. I don't think loss with Bama, possibly loss with Tennessee, and then we don't know anything. We're, we're not really doing anything for for South Carolina or or Ole Miss. Well, when you look at one all of those, the schedule, I'll you tell say, you. Go through their schedule. Okay. Well, I mean Mississippi State, and then it's then it's Abilene Christian, and then at LSU. So, like I said, if they were to go eight and four, let's say they lose LSU, Alabama, and Tennessee, and Tennessee. Tennessee that's okay, nine. Then that means to go eight, you have to win. You have to win like the the South Carolina, the Ole Miss, the Auburn. You know now those you, games. No, you no, got to no, win no, to no, lose right one. Now. Yeah, you can only lose one between Miami, South Carolina, Ole Miss, and Auburn. You can only lose one between all of them. Right. I mean, are you confident? Are you forward. confident that they're gonna do that they're gonna do that? No, I'm really not I confident. I, I said he's on the hot seat. No. I said he's on the I hot seat. I think they go seven and five. And I, I think, think he gets fired. <laughs> seven and five, I think gets him fired. For sure. And I think he gets think he gets fired at so, seven five. I think he might get fired at eight Here's four. my biggest question. Like. My biggest question when it comes to Texas A and M. Okay. Petrino in the picture now, and y'all mm-hmm. were talking about quarterbacks. John, you, 
uh, yes. Hammonds, you were bringing up the course you. So Bobby Petrino has done pretty well with offense and quarterbacks. He's, yeah. It's been 20 years since he wasn't a, a head coach. And let's – 20 uh, years. It's been – All right. Been, been 13 in the SEC. It's been – been at least 13 since in the sec because he was the head coach in 2010 yeah he had uh he, he coached it uh um, he was the head coach he was the head coach at arkansas in 2010 2011 yeah. was when he got fired for and they went downhill the motorcycle yeah, i'm just yeah, saying i got a number it's been pretty much to 20 years since yeah since he's, he's been quite a bit head coach in the sec Yes. So, my question to you is: the combination of Fisher and Bobby Petrino, is it going to be explosive, or is it going to be combustible? Yes, explosive on the sidelines, very combustible. Yes. Depends on from game to game, to my opinion. <laughs> Who's in control? Jimbo likes I'm, to be in control. I'm told if you're looking at the whole season, if you're looking back the on the season, you're predicting. Exactly. So they asked Jimbo. I, I want to know who's calling the Jimbo, play. Well, that, everybody that he the plays and today he couldn't, was wanting he could, to know who's calling give, the play. He couldn't give a straight answer on that one. Well, hopefully – Hopefully he'll call the plays. Everybody today was asking, said. oh, I know. <laughs> so I, I don't know, man. I don't I just I, I just wanna asking, I just wanna get my popcorn out and watch the plays. Yeah, hope. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to get my popcorn out and start watching this because this is gonna be pure entertainment. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. You know yeah, me and I love it chaos. Is for sure. And this is gonna be the most chaotic team well, ever. It's. I'm. I'm telling you, is the offense going to be explosive or is it going to be combustible? Mm. Mm -hmm. Because that is what's going to determine if you get to eight wins or not. I they don't even think Texas A&M should even be here talking about ten wins. No. 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 Bobby Petrino does. He's pretty well known for having an explosive offense. Yeah, but so does he get things and turn it around and make Texas A and M? That's what I'm saying. Well, right now, now if you're we're asking all saying me, the same thing. We're all asking Jimbo Fisher's going to lead this, and it's going to be explosive. Then no. Ooh. I just want to watch. Bobby I just want to watch. Knows leading this. Then, then, then I just want to watch the. I just want to watch the internal combustion. Just everything just blow up from the inside. I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> but I said, you thought the Auburn internal I'm just fighting saying, was, was I didn't bad. Say watch this one. This will get worse. <laughs> My prediction is no. I'm saying that's where they get to in order for Jimbo to stay. What's your prediction? That's what I, John said nine. Hammond said nine. Didn't you say you, you thought nine. he'd have to get to? Yeah, I think he has to. Has to get to nine. What do you think he will get to? I think to me he'll get eight. That's eight. Just my, my that's just my opinion. But, what about what about you, Brad? What, do you think he'll have seven, eight, or nine, or do you think it'll be more or less than either of those? <laughs> oh no, we lost him. He done died again. Oh yeah, there you are. Yeah, there he is. No, no, you're frozen. But yeah, go for it. 
What do you think? You there? Nope. We lost him again. He's playing hide and seek right now. I don't know. I this has been I more interesting tell. show tonight. I can tell you. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you think it'll be eight and four? You think there'll be eight eight wins? He'll win eight games. games. Okay. I just think nine will be. I think nine. He's pretty safe. So. Yeah. So nine keeps him safe. But you, you're thinking eight's probably what he ends up doing. Eight's probably what he ends up with. Yeah. So his his fourth loss okay, is Okay, am I back? You say Bama, Tennessee, LSU, where's the fourth one? Probably Arkansas. Arkansas? Okay. Yeah. But he wins, he wins against Auburn. He beats South Carolina. He beats Ole Miss. Yeah, and he probably loses against Arkansas. Because Arkansas is due for – a win from my, after last year. Yeah. It, do you think it will be a, a solid win, or do you think it will be a uh, – It'll be close. It, it'll be one of these like, oh, my God, I can't believe that just happened. I think it'll be close because K.J. Jefferson's back, and he's a pretty good quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll agree. We got Brad back on the dot. Oh, look, there's Brad. He don't look happy, man. He looks really upset. His face doesn't change. It's like he's frozen. He's a frozen. I can't figure all this <laughs> oh, out. There it, is. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Am I back? Oh, Lord. Yeah, you're yes. back. <laughs> Terminator. <laughs> I I I didn't do anything. It's just, just keeps. It's just one of them. It's just one of them nights. One of them things. I don't know. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. That keeps changing on its own, and I, I, I'm not doing anything. I have no idea. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Oh, um, no. But uh, I don't know. so this is only the second time I've used this. So yesterday being the first. Yes. Yeah. So are we uh, are we moving on from Texas A and M to the yeah that, to the next one? Yesterday was the first. Yeah, we'll go to uh, Missouri and, and Eli. So, Eli, if only one today. It, it, Missouri was the last one today. Eli Drinkwitz. Um, I think he's on. I know that we, we've we done a lot of talk, talk about Jimbo Fisher on the hot seat, but I actually think that Eli Drinkwitz is on the hottest seat. In the SEC, do they have a twelfth game scheduled? I only saw eleven on their schedule. I don't know. Maybe they don't have their. Uh, One, maybe two, they should three. have a twelve game schedule. Yeah. Hold on. One. Oh, that's what it is. Their bye week is the last week of the season. Wait, that's not right. That's not right. No, they, their bye week's the 28th. Let's take a look. Hold on. Did I mess this up? Let me see. 
Who do they play the 28th? They don't play on the 28th. But they don't play on the they don't play on the 25th of November either. That's where like everybody else's season ends. It's the 25th of November. But they don't play on the 28th of October either. I mean, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games. There are eleven games scheduled for November, or for uh, for for Missouri. Well, surely a game somewhere, or they will have. Maybe they had. Somebody I mean, they're going to be pay it or something. I don't know. I mean, they maybe 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 paying what is that Southeast Missouri or somebody like that to come in and. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's an FCS team. Huh. Play St. Louis. Do they have a football team? Could be. <laughs> I don't know. It, may, it might be an FCS team or something. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, let's playing... talk about their quarterback situation. Yeah. Is it Brady Cook? Is it going to be the, the redshirt freshman uh, Horn? Or, or, or is it Jake Garcia, Miami? Because that's their other option. Hey, no, you know what it is? I'm, I'm sorry to go back to it. Their schedule does not have an eight SEC game. I don't know who it is. It, they have who are they playing? Play eight. Yeah, well, they have to play SEC. Yes, I, I get that. But on their website, it has – Bandy, LSU, Kentucky, yeah. South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and Florida. Who's the other one? You're gonna make me try to look this up, aren't you? You're gonna make me. You're gonna make me use my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm, I haven't I'm looked just, at Missouri's football. I'm studio. just questioning this. I'm just questioning this. Vanderbilt, LSU. <laughs> I haven't looked Kentucky. at Kentucky. Okay. According to what I got, they're playing South Dakota. Yep. Tennessee. Got Kansas it. State. Yep. Memphis. Yes. Vandy. Yep. LSU. Kentucky. Yep. South got Carolina. Yep. Georgia. Yep. Tennessee. Mm hmm. Florida and Arkansas. Yep. So Arkansas is the one that's not listed on this website that I'm looking at. That's the one. So on the 25th, they're playing Arkansas. Okay. November the 24th, they play Arkansas. All right, November 24th. So that's the Friday game. Okay. That just it says November. That was just 24th. below. It's at Arkansas. Yeah. So I said that's the Friday game. Yeah. That was that was just weird. It's just weird that they didn't have that. That they didn't have it all. Uh, that they didn't have the final game listed. I just thought it was weird. I don't know. So. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, so Eli Drinkwood's hot seat. Let's yeah. talk about his quarterback. Simmons, who who wins that quarterback spot? Do you think Brady Cook holds it, or is it? Mm, I think Brady Cook wins it. He's frozen again. Silent Bob. <laughs> oh no. So anyway, so Missouri, we have you said that Brady Cook you say that Brady Cook's gonna keep the job as being the uh Yeah, I think Brady Cook's got it. He he shown flashes last year. Yeah, potential last year. So, right. I think now, it's to lose. do you think that the, the thicker kicker can can actually hit hit field goals? I think he can. Yeah. Yeah. 
not miss the chip shot 20 something yarder against Auburn? Yeah, that happened. Yeah. That was really bad. That was a that was an ugly game, anyways. So Auburn is eight and zero on my birthday, and that game was on my birthday. Yeah, almost almost lost the undefeated. <laughs> almost 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 took a loss on my birthday. They were seven and zero going into that game, and then, whoo! But I think Missouri. <laughs> I think there's a chance that they could win seven games this year. Seven. You want to go through that one? Let's go through it real quick. All right. Here we go. We got South Dakota. That's a win, yay? Yep. Okay. Middle Tennessee. That's a win. Is it? Uh, Depends. <laughs> Middle Tennessee has been known to give some team fits. Yeah, like Tennessee, right? Yep. Mm. Um, like no, no, sorry, no, sorry. They beat Miami last year. That's who it was. Like Kentucky fits a couple years ago. Yeah, they beat, they beat oh. Miami last year. Yeah. So, uh, K State. Brad's trying to say something, but we don't know what it is. Yeah. So. I think. I don't know. He said an L. He said he's given he's given the L to K State. That's a that's a L. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, Memphis. Memphis. Uh, yeah. they're not going to be as good as they have been, but it's still that it could be a toss up game. Toss up, Brad. Give us fingers. We going, we going, we going, we going to win, or are we going, or are we going to loss. Where's the game at? Ah, uh, there you go. No, that's it. It's at home. Okay. Well, okay. I got Missouri here. Yep. Okay. At Vandy. A win. Well, I I don't know. Vandy, Vandy's going to be a little bit better than they was last year. It couldn't be no worse. So, but I think still that's a win. It's a home game. At Vandy. In Nashville, in front of ten people. Yeah. Say, so, let's just say that's a win. Four is that four and one? That's uh four and one. One, two, okay. three. Four. Yep. All right. LSU. Loss. Where's it at? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. They're not gonna beat them in Baton Rouge if that's where it's at. All right. All right. Say it. Say it. One, two, three. We're gonna be at Kentucky. One, two, three. Hmm. They're losing that one, but they haven't been what they haven't been Kentucky at home in what three four years. Yeah, it's been a while since they beat Kentucky on the road. So all right, South Carolina. Does it matter where it's at? It's always a tight game. Okay, so it's 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 at home. I think I'm gonna go with Missouri here because South Carolina is not real good on the road, or all has right. not been in the past. All right. This one's gonna be the toughest opponent. Bye week. Yeah, well, they they probably win that game. So. <laughs> All right. At Georgia, they ain't winning that one. Tennessee. Not, is it at Tennessee? No. Tennessee sometimes struggles at Missouri, but they're still going to lose. So, Florida. Where's it at? Missouri. They might beat Florida on, at home. Okay. Florida's quarterback situation is kind of mucky right now. Home versus Arkansas. Mm, that's a rivalry game, so it's a toss-up. So, I say give them a win. So, how many wins is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's about as good as they're going to get, to be honest. Yep, one, two, three, four, yep. I mean, and that might not even be enough to keep Drinkwitz's job, like – He's going to have to start beating teams that he's supposed to, like say Kentucky, Arkansas. Yeah, because um, I mean, if he if he loses his final two games, then that means he goes out with a four game losing streak and ends up not being five yeah. and not being not being seven and five, but being five and seven. Yeah, I think, and he just put up there how many wins keeps drinking to Missouri. I think eight at the most. Um, really, that's a lot. I think that's going to – I mean, he's – what's he really done? I mean, he had that one year where he beat LSU. What's the expectation? He, well, didn't they get Luther Burden back? I think they got their wide receiver back. I think they got a really good team. Okay. But at the end of the day, 
you got to produce, and they haven't the last couple of years, I don't think. That's true. And That's it's true. just – it's not been up to Missouri standards. So. Right. Well, right. I think eight he's – got, he's got at least win eight if he wants to keep a job. Okay. I think so. Gotcha. Green. I, I think that I think he's unless it is a just an absolute uh, he's lost the players. I don't think he loses his job this year. I think I think you're going to have to give him one more year, though. I think this if he I don't know he's kind of iffy on. Because who you going who's gonna take that Missouri job? Like who's? I mean, they're not they're not really a football. Pa- well, back in the day, they was pretty good in the Big Twelve. But mm-hmm. I mean, that's a that's a place that I don't know. Yeah, that's a toughie. Yeah, yeah. Because you know the coach before that. Uh, he was he was really good. Barry Pinkle. Barry Odom. Um, well, Barry Odom was good too, but Pinkle was good too. Pinkle had him winning. He had him, I think, going to the SEC championship, didn't he? Back to back years. Um, back to back years. So you can win there, but the expectations a lot of also, times there is out also, of route. He also went to some Big Twelve championship games too. He did, and you know, it's it's tough being at a place like Missouri because you're not known for, you know, the tradition like Alabama and these other schools are. So Right. Now, we didn't go through the LSU schedule. You want to go through that one? Yeah, let's go through it real quick. Since we kind of kind of skipped through it when we were talking about Brian Kelly. Yeah. Uh, so, LSU, they start the year off Sunday. Sunday, uh, they are playing Florida State in Orlando. I'm gonna tell you something. This game could depend their season. Could could Brad's calling a win for LSU. I don't know, man. FSU is the is the dark horse. Yeah, it's been a lot of times when people have said that, and yet here we are. Yeah, waiting on them to not. They got a better team this year, though. Yeah, they, they do. And plus, they get Jordan Travis back, so that's going to help. That's true. Okay. So, so we're I going, say they lose that game. So we got I still win. think they lose, but – well, I think LSU will lose that game. That's just mine. Okay. So. All right. Grambling State, that's a win. It's a win. Mississippi State. Where's it at? At Mississippi State. Oh, goodness. It's always close. Cowbells. But I think Miss I think LSU wins that game though on the road. Wins. Okay. Arkansas. The boot, at home. The old boot rivalry at home. I think they'll take it this year. Didn't Arkansas beat them last year? Yes. Yeah, I think LSU returns the favor. Okay. Uh at Ole Miss. Always another close game. Um Mm. I think they win that one. I think they go in big kid. All right. At Missouri, which we called a win on, which the, I call, yeah. on, on the Missouri one. So, yeah. All right. 10 14, they host Auburn. It's always tight. Um, it's in LSU. And but I think they win that Auburn, game. Auburn, Auburn has won one time since 1999. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's and that was the last time that they played there. His, history is not on the Auburn Tigers side. Let's just put it. No, that way. But the last time that Auburn visited there, they won. Coach Cuba, Coach was on the team. Yes, he was. Yeah, smoked a bunch of cigars. Yes, they did. Uh, that's a loss for Auburn. I just, so, it's, so it's a win for LSU. Yeah, okay. I, unless Auburn comes out and just really. Out muscles on my don't see that happening. Right. Army. Okay. Was that, that it? 
Army. Oh, Army. Um, that's a win. Yeah. Then it's the bye weekend on the 28th, and then we are at Bama. Ooh, Bama's going to be a lot better this year. Um, I don't see them beating Bama at Bama. At Bama's a lot. Not many people go into Bama and win. Okay, Florida. Rivalry game. Where's it at? Florida? LSU. That's a win. Okay. Georgia State's a win. Okay. Then they play A&M, right? Yeah, A&M. That's a win. So that's what, 10? Uh, it's 10 for you and it's 11 for Brad. I think it's about right. 10 and 11 wins. Unless, unless he says that they uh, – I didn't see Brad's uh, Bama. Was, was it a win or a loss versus it was a It was a loss. Okay. Was that what Brad said? Yeah, it was a loss. Okay, okay. So, Brad's got 11 and 1 and you've got 10 and 2. Yeah. So, here's – here is, is the 11 and 1 number one in the West – or is the number, or is that one loss to Alabama what keeps them from winning the West? I think it's that one that keeps them from winning. winning. Mm-hmm. So Bama wins the West. LSU with eleven and one goes to a New Year's Six and possibly the College Football Playoff as an outside team. They get in because Georgia most likely beats Bama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So that'll piss a lot of people off. <laughs> Just checking, seeing what this will. I think, I think that's the end of our show, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, other than uh, seeing if we could find Silent Brad to give us a few. I hey, Brad, get, why don't you give us? I, I can't oh, get it we heard him. Work. I heard him. Been trying. Oh, there he is. Silent Brad is, is talking. Do your, I think, or don't you do the ads before you log out? Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Just waiting on you to speak. Can you hear me? Yes or no? Yes. 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 We hear you loud and quick. Well, he's froze, but we can hear him. <laughs> well, it's right. Okay. I, 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 I didn't know. If you could or not, I've been sitting here just all mostly. This has been so what is one interesting. On? I don't know what's going on. This with podcast this thing. just I have took no the idea. L. <laughs> this podcast just took a big L tonight. Yeah, we did. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. We'll finish hey. this up tomorrow night, and I'm probably going to go back to my old laptop until I figure this. Out because this is acting crazy. So just like baseball, so, we will we will try again tomorrow night. This is the you silent. Guys, this is silent bread, frozen bread. Yes, we will we try again tomorrow. Angry bread. <laughs> I can't get hardly anything to come up and. Work. Hey, to, and now we get the angry bread. Y'all, so. y'all have a, y'all have a good night. See you guys tomorrow night. And just like that, he is ridiculous. (laughs) That was hilarious. So tomorrow.